What What are your thoughts on that Bills win? We definitely shook off Rust. Yeah. For the entire first half. Yeah. And then we came out the second half. McD calmed us down. Shout out Coach McDermott. McD, you're listening, stud. bro. He's a stud. But did you hear his locker room speech at the end of the game? Yeah. Phenomenal. There you go. Did you have a sip of that? Yeah. Woo! I definitely a fan of having it just out of the bottle normal without the homogenous, non-homogenous leaf water that we drop into it. <laughs> the reverse osmosis distilled water with hemlock leaf. There you go. Yeah. Dude, I got it nailed now. Yeah, you do. No shame in coming my way. But yes, I do like it without that, mm-hmm. which is shocking. Anyway, start chewing it. Chew it real quick. Chew it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that burns, bro. Ooh, it's making my palm sweat. Ooh. All right, so, so wow, that was that was an experience. Yeah, to get you, let me do it. I want to, I want to put <coughs> something through this. Ta- yeah, dude, I want to put something through this table right that now. That comes out through the nose. Yeah, that's intense. All right, anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, bills. Yeah, the bills, Duh bills, Duh bills. So we shook off the rust. McDermott made adjustments, squared us away. Josh Allen calmed down, and then, dude, I want him to hang out with Brett Favre. Josh Allen. Yeah. If Josh Allen hangs out with Brett Favre for a week, shout out Brett Favre. Brett Favre is Listen the greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah. If he hung out with Brett Favre, then he would legitimately understand how to throw that <clears throat> deep ball. See, now this is my thought on this. We could have had 14 more points. We could have, yes. So this is my thought. I thought that the game in general went very good for our offense because we showed that we can march the ball down the field. Yeah, but we couldn't close. Correct. But at the same time, we still have work to do, obviously, but... Allen didn't throw any picks. He made no mistakes that game. I know. Like, from an interception or turnover perspective, he made no mistakes, which was very, very surprising for him. Yeah. So, that's an improvement right there. Our defense probably took this game off. They probably thought that this was going to be easy because Fitzmagic was in. I knew as soon as he was announced, I was scared shitless. Me too. Because he would can either throw 400 yards and three touchdowns or 100 yards and four picks. Right. It's a toss-up with him. Yeah. Rosen, at least we know he sucks. Yeah. So I was very scared with that, and I think our defense probably underestimated Fitzpatrick. And as soon as you get that beard that long, dude, you're guaranteed to throw some touchdowns. 100%. So There's so much respect for Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yeah. And I think that after we came out of the break, McDermott probably said, yo, listen, defense, you got to step it up. We should not be losing to Miami. Did you see And then that- Trey got that pick. Yeah, Trey got the pick. Dude, Trey the had a phenomenal game. He had game. a phenomenal game. He needs to be talked about more. Yeah. Even the commentators are saying how underrated he is. Yeah. He's a lockdown corner. But he anyways, is. Sean McDermott called a screen on the sidelines and ran down the field with his hand in front of his face saying screen. And then we blitzed on the spot and then blew up the screen. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. It was, I was so I, I didn't amped. know that. That's sweet. Yeah, I was so amped. He was literally calling plays for the defense on the sidelines and running down the sidelines screaming screen, screen, screen. Yeah. And then our guys reacted. So, my, my thought on Allen's deep ball, and we're only talking about this honestly because we got a lot of good feedback from our Bills talk, so maybe we should make this a semi-regular segment when they're in the, in the season because yeah, we, we, we did get some pretty good feedback on that. But anyway, so my f- personal opinion on Allen's long ball, when you watch him in the combine, he threw a decent long ball. He was hitting receivers. He wasn't throwing them well, 10 yards for his deep. Arm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that the first season, last season – he was hitting deep balls. I mean, he was hitting Foster all the time. Yeah. And then people were started getting on him like, dude, your short throw accuracy is ferocious. Ferocious is a word, right? Herocious? Uh, I think you were trying to ferocious. say horrendous. Horrendous and ferocious. Yeah. It's a new word now. It's ferocious. I make up words on this podcast. Yeah. So you his mi- deep ball was <laughs> ferocious last week. <laughs> but I think that his short throws were so horrendous last week or last year that in this offseason, they're like, dude. Your deep ball is fine. Let's work on your short throw. And they didn't work on his long ball at all. No. So now this year, he's off a little bit. But watch my words, dude. Again, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We got a drink. And that's definitely not going to help. I'm also going to, now while you finish this thought, try to come up with a way to watch your words. Yeah, watch my words, bro. (laughs) Watch them come through this pop filter into the microphone through the other side. No, (laughs) listen to my words, dude. I'm telling you. At the end of the year... Allen is going to be throwing for 31 points or have, we'll have 31 points a game without defensive turnovers or defensive scores. We'll be having these 31 points because he'll be connecting on these long balls. I'm telling you. The thing he that, just needs some time. The thing that blows my mind is he's brand new. Yeah. The, I mean, he's got, what, 18, 19 starts? 
He's brand new. Right. Like, relax. Calm down. He just needs to learn how to slide because he's still making me very nervous. Sure, but he's just out there having fun. And he's huge. Yeah, but if he gets he's another concussion, dude. dude, he's had two injuries already in his first two years. He's, he's got to relax. He's fine. He's not he's fine. He's fine. See, it's people like you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to make a play. I No, I, I get that. And I love his run. But Lamar Jackson is on pace for 1,300 rush yards this season. He's a new age Mike Vick. That is disgusting. I know. Absolutely disgusting. But he's also throwing for 100. So And do- people are saying we should have got Lamar. It's like the dude's throwing only for 100, 150 yards a game. I'm sorry. Or 150, 200 yards. Lamar. I don't want another running back as a quarterback. I like Allen staying in the pocket, hit the deep balls, run if you have to, be the new age Carson Wentz. Yeah. Or Ben, Roth- ben Roethlisberger doesn't run. He can't run. No, he's just huge. Yeah, he's just a big dude. Yeah. But, he, I mean, Allen is perfect for our franchise. Yeah. Perfect. 